All right. Okay, cool. Let's start. Final Fantasy VI, baby. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Once you begin, I can ask the same if the game is properly patched. Do you not? Do you not trust my patching abilities? Long ago, the War of the Magi, Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. One thousand years later, oh, one thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been developed, and high technology reigns. But now there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dreaded destructive force known as magic. Magi? Alright. Cool. Magi. Meiji is cute. But I'll say Magi. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? This is basically the same opening as in Secret of Mana. This is the city. Oh, it's Biggs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa, whoops! <laughs> I accidentally skipped through that. I accidentally pressed my button. The slave crown uh, on her head makes her a mindless puppet. She'll follow orders. <laughs> That's not a good start. <laughs> we'll approach from the east. Move out. That's Biggs and Wedge. You'll start over again next stream, I do hope. Why? Why would I start over? This is this is it. To avoid accidentally skipping text. I mean I only skip like three three lines. It's not the end of the world. Oh shit. Oh, I know this music. This music is really good. Tetsuya Takahashi Hideo Minaba I love games with super long openings for no reason. In fact, this music plays when you ride a Magitek armor around in Final Fantasy XIV online. That is so cool. I'm gonna look that up, actually. Oh! Shit! Get ready for some of the best music in Final Fantasy. When that song was added to the mount, the Japanese blog advised for best effects plays for traveling groups of three in snowy areas. <laughs> nice. So I can take it that this game was a huge step forward in the Final Fantasy franchise. Remake Planner. Raymond Lee and Aiko Toe. That's my toe. This is just going back to the title screen now. 
think it might be just going back to the title screen. Six was a pretty big step forward, although some of the JP fanbase didn't like it because uh, of the lack of main character as of sorts. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Well, that was the main fucking... Dude, how many? What? We've seen all of this. What? We've seen all of this. What? Ah, there we go. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risk. Forward. Sweet. Jesper must be in here. Move out. Oh shit! Soon. You should already be able to tell that the graphics are way better than the last game. Yep, I can. I can definitely tell. I can definitely tell. Try running by holding down the B or A buttons. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Ew. Ew. Fuck's sake. That's a lot of fucking customization. Fuck that. Uh, la, 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 la. Yep, it's patch. Biggs. Is the sorcerer set? It's the first way to tell. Actually, Biggs would be the first way to tell because Woosley called him Vix. He called him Vix? Why would you change Biggs' name? Biggs is in like every Final Fantasy game, isn't he? Why would you change his name then? Whoa! Whoa! This is way cooler than what I was gonna try and do. It's stupid confusing though, but it's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, the order? Healing attack effect? Yeah, that's good. Controller, re equip. Serio's good. Gauge is on. Message speed 3. Uh, battle mode is set to wait for some reason. Let's see. Let's see how that is. Why not just try it like that, huh? Yes, they've been recurring since 6. Inside the tent of the Millennial Fair. First uh, iteration that the West got, the translation team named him Vix. Oh, okay, that's why. That's why. Imperial machine riding self-important swine. You have no business here. Take this. Oh, fuck. I'm fighting already. Whoa. Blizzard beam. Thunder beam? I'll just do fire beam. Whoa, that's pretty good. This music is good. Wait means time stops in battle when you're in item spell menu, but not on regular menus like fight item. Active means time continues to move while in those menus. Oh, shit, okay. Peru Magitek armor? Not even Nash is safe anymore. You can place the sorceress in position one to see her sprite on the map instead. I mean, I guess I could. If I wanted to. 
boots, 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 boots. What's this way? Anything, anything this way? Oh, I can't. I'm too big, I can't fit. My mech armor is too big. Fuck, more of them. Nash's freedom depends on us. Question mark is a horrible name, just saying. Yeah, it does seem kind of horrible. Magitech missile. See that. Oops. Let's try Thunder Beam, see what that looks like. Oops. Well, there we go. Guess I'll do it. Thunder Beam. Nice. That was okay, I guess. It is a terrible name. Fight me! Fight me! Also, small tip, because you can get screwed over, at one point you'll be asked to take up a cause. If you say yes, the plot continues immediately. You can also, however, say no three times and the plot continues as normal. The difference? The item you get. Oh, shit. So I have to say no three times? Say yes, you get the gauntlet. It sucks. Say no three times, you get the Genji glove. It is awesome. Okay, I'll do that then. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. I love tips. I can't go this way. And I'm guessing I also won't be able to go this way. So I'll just go straight. Oh, fuck. We've got him trapped. Ow. Oh, shit. This is awesome. Pincer attack. Oh, that's gonna fuck me over in the future. I can already tell that. Is this kind of like a back attack, but not really? Uh, seems like it would be kind of like a back attack. Gauntlet lets you wield a weapon in both hands, whereas Genji Glove lets you wield two weapons. It's like rewarding people for not being afraid to fuck with the game and making the obvious the wrong choice. There's a finite number of Genji Gloves you can earn. However, there is a limited number of gauntlets in the game. Pincer attack. You can't run away. Tempted to start over now because of that. Oh, Outbridge. I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh, she's already level 4, huh? Relic? What's, what's Relic again? Ah, uh, you fucking told me, but I forgot. Honestly, I don't listen to you guys. I'm just kidding. I'm absolutely kidding. But I did forget. We must defend the mines. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, let's see. Let's see how that does. Fire beam, baby. Relics are your accessories. Okay, cool. Nice. Whoa, that was some pretty good healing. Give the first one, I think there's only two left elsewhere in the game. And everyone falls into front row. Yeah, but the gauntlets suck. Also, I'll bridge some chests change their contents later in the game. Like in Nash's cave. Relics are your accessories by Oblast of Sorceress. Uh, they let you augment a character in various ways. Giving someone uh, the dragon boots lets them do a dragoon style jump attack, similar to Kane in Final Fantasy IV. Also, for best single target damage on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Use missiles. Okay, cool. This fucking victory music is... is bouncy. I love it. It's got some good beats. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mineshaft. Maybe this one. According to our source, we should have fucking... looked up some shit before going into this blind... Oh, okay. Random enemies. Great. Random encounters. Uh, fucking Firebeam, I guess. I mean, I don't know. What is it that you said? 
Imagine attack missile. Let's do it. Best single target right now, but Bio Blaster is also good against non rat type poison enemies. Nice. Also, nice thing about Final Fantasy VI, when you die, you return to the last save point. Any progress you made is lost, but you will keep your experience. What? Oh my god, that will help me so much. I am actually tempted to not use safe states at all now because of that. That is awesome. An eerie glow surrounds you. Want to info about the safe points? Sure. At safe points, you can use sleeping bags or tents, and also save the game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save, though any guild treasures, etc. you found will have to be found again. Your level and EXP data will be retained. You can save the game anywhere on the world map. Sweet. Yeah, sure. Uh, only three saves? That's annoying. Magic attack missile is non elemental, but uh, has the highest base damage of any magic attack armor weapon. I'll handle this. Oh shit! Biggs. Biggs is gonna handle it, he says. Nice. Oh fuck. We won't hand over the as. Ime, get them! Oh, is this a boss? Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a lightning walk? It absorbs lightning. And stores the energy in its shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright. Already. Who needs healing? Fuck, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was big. SNES Final Fantasy without. What's that? Do not attack it phase. <laughs> yep. I once fought the shell. I once fought the shell only, and it took over half an hour just to get an ether. There we go. We killed it. We killed it. It is very dead. We killed a snail. Nice. She knows magic. Final Fantasy IV introduced the Mist Dragon. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy IV introduced it with the Mist Dragon. Five's Wing Raptor has it, Walk has it, and Guard Scorpion in Seven has it. Sadly, the tradition died after Seven. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's kind of I kind of like having bosses where there's phases where you have to wait. Uh, the drop of the Walk is like a potion. Why would I? Why do you want me to relocate her to lead position? He's one of the only characters that naturally learns magic, i.e. by level up. Everyone else will have to employ other methods later on. I mean, I'm pretty sure you'll be dead, but I might as well.
Nice. All right. I said, uh, blah, blah, blah. if you're willing to get her to like, what is it, 80-ish, she learns Ultima, strongest attack spell in the game. Yeah, I can't wait till we can stop calling her question mark. You're goddamn right. Me too. This is the frozen Espa. The only other ways to learn it involve a lengthy side quest or choosing not to get one of the... S hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Wah! Oh god, no! Hey Wedge, where are you? What's happening? Oh god. Holy shit, dude. Poor Biggs and Wedge. Oh man, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. So you either miss out on the best sword in the game, or one of the only ways to learn Ultima. Wait, shit. What? It's one thing about Six that annoyed me. You can't ever truly get a 100% collection because of the Ragnarok choice. You either get an awesome sword or an Esper that teaches Ultima. So you either miss out on the best sword in the game or Ultima. Okay, get it. Check the grandfather clock? Okay. I will. Where am I? Whoa, you're awake. And I only just removed the crown. Ow, head hurts. Easy now. This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll come back to you in time, that is. A mysterious young woman, enslaved by the Gasalian Empire, and born with the gift of magic. Oh shit. Her name is Terra? I know someone named Terra. Okay, so. It goes, I guess. Uh, Albridge made a choice. But it wasn't this character, so I guess for now we will leave this character named Tama. Oops. Uh, Terra, although the original JP translation would be Tina. For some reason, that part always stuck in the Western version. My name is Terra. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> the little dog's barking. That's cute. Open up. Give us the Empire's Magitek armor, pilot. Terra's a good all-rounder. White magic is her best strength. She can still pretty, be pretty damn good with a sword too. Open this door. We want that girl. She's got. Uh, she's an agent of the Empire. No, I'm not. Fuck you. Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. Nope. Fuck you. I'm going to the clock. Received an elixir. Thanks for the hint. Thanks for letting me know about that. Can I sleep? No, I won't sleep. I already slept. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Okie dokie. Can I save here? No, this is not outside. 
She's up there. Well, they can't get me, so... Uh, though ideally by the end of the game you'll be using dual cast ultimates to obliterate everything by doing 9999 times 2 damage to everything. Oh my god. Avoid taking any chests when you travel through Nash Cave. The content level up later. Okay. We'll, we'll do that then. Or we'll not do that, I guess. Hey. No, this isn't a, do a door. Hey, save point. Oh, of course there's a fight. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, I don't have a fucking... I don't have armor now. I was like, wait, why isn't it letting me choose the attacks? It's a bandit. Nice. Um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks about not knowing that. Um, but now at least you can restart the game and have better equipment, I guess. You have to use LR to multi-tag it with magic. Oh shit, really? Oh, you've already played for five hours? Fuck. Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. No, that's still running. Oh yeah. You have to press the L button. Nice. She gained a level, baby. There's a couple of hidden areas to find as well. Like in the town of South Fug uh, Fugaro. In one of the basements, a hidden stairway leads out some equipment. I'll remind when the time comes. Sweet. Boom, 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 boom. There she is. There she is. All right. Ready, get ready to spam f Oh fuck, she fell! I was about to say get ready to spam fire, but apparently no. Doesn't that hidden room have Hermes sandals? Nice. No, don't- Oh fuck, she died. I'm sure she didn't die, but you know. Gefka, my sweet little magic user. Wee hee hee. With this slave crown, I'll practically own you. But oh hi, best FF villain from the SNES era. Yeah, I have to admit I've heard mm, a lot about Kafka, and I've heard that name a million times at this point. Wee hee hee! Good, burn up everything. As Alfred once said, some people just want to watch the world burn and then there's Kafka. Is he really that bad? Gestal. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. It is our destiny and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. Kafka's a bastard. <laughs> we will conquer the new world with our newfound power. Nothing can stand in our way. Hurrah, long live Emperor... Kafka? Kafka is basically using Imperial soldiers in a live fire exercise to test Sarah's effectiveness. The exercise ended with 50 dead Imperial soldiers. Fuck. This is some serious stuff. Oh shit, who the hell is that? Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? 
Treasure hunter and trail worn traveller searching the world over for relics of the past. Oh, this is luck. I just have to check again because just to make sure. No. Okay. Luck will be luck. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Haha. -ha. Like there's a difference. There's a huge difference. Anyway, is that something you need me to do? Yeah, I've met the girl. You don't mean... The city's guards are pursuing her even as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up uh, to the Empire, but won't use it. Even so, it's not like it will join forces with an underground resistance uh, movement, like the Returners. I tried to explain that to the Empire and enslaved the girl. Oh, I tried to explain that the Empire enslaved the girl, but they won't listen. The thief, sorry, treasure hunter. That said, steal a lot, especially against bosses who may have shiny rare items you can't find anywhere, anywhere uh, elsewhere. Especially when you get thief gloves, steal even more. All right, I think we better help, uh, help getting her out of Nash. Agreed. Take her to Figaro Castle and talk to the king. All right, let's go. <laughs> nice. Locke's a solid frontline attacker, especially with some of his later gear. Now we gotcha. Oh my god. That is a lot of dudes. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kupo. Oh my god, it's the fucking Moogles already. Moogles. Are you saying you want to help me? Koopa, Koopa. Can't wait for the opera scene. Use us to save Terra from the guards. Need more information? Yes. You'll fight using three different groups. Press the Y button to switch between them. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Terra. Save her or else... What? Okay. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Shit, okay, I kind of get what's happening. Pretty sure we all just died. This is weird. This is really odd. Mog's gear can be a good head start for Edgar. Wait, what? Hold on, I need to pause to read. Uh, you can set up the three parties to block various paths, and in group two, Mog can have his equipment taken by the player. Do this before facing the boss, but after beating all the flunkies. Also, use Mog's dance against the boss for a quick kill. Uh, how would I take his equipment, though? I don't understand.
Fuck. Oh, no. Well, this is bad. Because we are close to being dead. Oh, you can... Oh, okay. That I know. Okay, I get what you're trying to say now. No, fucking Jesus Christ. The NPC Moogles are locked, however, you cannot take their gear. Well, is this the boss? Where is the boss, though? Is this one? I'm guessing no. Which is a shame because one of them has a chakram which would be amazing for lock this early. Ah. I'm pretty sure there's a mod that would allow you to take it. Or a cheat. So this were, uh, this guy's equipment? Boss is the commander of the south of the cave. Jackrams have the strongest weapons, but they do full damage from the back row. Uh, aren't the strongest. Okay. So now I have that, right? Okay, cool. Well, that's... Yep, and Edgar, who you get shortly, can use spears. Then for the boss battle, use Mog's dance. Okay. Oh, so you want me to fight with uh, Mog. Okay, dokey. Guess I'll do that. This is fucking weird. I don't know what the fuck that does. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Dude. Once Mark starts dancing, he won't stop until the battle ends or he dies? Dude, that was sick! That was 700 damage. I just wasted all those potions there. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. That's fine. I'll just buy some potions. Oh, God. That was weird. I think this will switch. Oh, I think the switch will... Open up the door. The alternative was to steal from the boss with luck, but you get better weapons later anyway. Uh, you back with us now? You saved me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. Uh, I can't remember anything, past or present. Except my mind is trapped in a fog. You have amnesia? Yes, I guess that's the way to say it. A man said my memory would come back eventually. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. I won't leave your side until your memory returns. By the way, the secret entrance might be useful someday, so don't forget about it. Before you leave town, you can learn some things and get some chests in a house. Okay. This is cool for the adventurous beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. Alright, I'll go in there. The house also has uh, free HP MP healing. Sweet. Nice, I guess that was the one. This is water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Such springs are located throughout the world. 
And I just bought... This is cool for the adventurers. Beginner. Nice. Nice. If you select the wait battle mode from the config menu, you can take all the time you need to select spells or items without being attacked. You might want to go out and get some experience in the world before coming in here. Yeah, probably. We skipped all those stupid tutorials. But hey, there's a free save point over here, so why not? I guess he'll tell me about the save points. This is a save point. Save points, you can use the blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I like reading, though, so it's fine. Valuables are often hidden in pots, such as this one. Nice. What about relics? Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your speed. Knight's code lets you shield others during battle. Dragoon boots add the jump command to your battle list. Gauntlets allow you to hold a sword with both hands. Use the main menu to equip up to two relics per person. Use curative items to restore your HP. Uh, staying at an inn will revive your party in full. Ha, huh, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Okay, cool. Good to know. Want to know how to ride a chocobo? Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward and steer with the control pad. Press the B button to dismount. Careful, once you get off, the bell will return to its pen. When buying armor and weapons, you'll see some symbols next to your characters. Triangles pointing up indicates increasing. When down, decreasing uh, equals blah, blah, blah. E means that the item is already equipped. A symbol means uh, under a character means that person is now in your party. Cool. Why are you hiding that? Choose with the A button. Cancel with the choice with the B. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can go in all the room. Uh, it's fine. Chests and stuff. I just Google them when they happen. Sprint shoes aren't necessary at all in this game thanks to the patch. Uh, adding a run button. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, does he know about healing hearts the undead? Yep. Fire and holy, uh, holy cure, um, magic has the undead. Yeah, I know that. I knew that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, bro. You're a real bro. Okay, I want to open this chest just to see. Move out of my way. Or you could just go back and forth. Okie dokie. It goes even further in 6. Phoenix Downs can instantly defeat some undead. Shit. That's pretty awesome, actually. It's pretty awesome. Very useful in Final Fantasy Tactics, but also works in 6. What button is the run button? I'm pressing B. Color changes indicate changes in status. Blue reflects. Spells are reflected. Yellow is protect, defense up, and red is green is shell. Red is haste. And white is slow. Speed way down. Pink is stop. I'm really glad I saw all those colors, colors because I was down here. Thanks. White numerals appearing during battle are damage points. Green numerals are recovery points. When selecting a spell, press the L or R button to select multiple targets. During a battle, press left or right on the control pad to select row or defense. Defense cuts received uh, damage in half and works until your next command input. Full meter in the lower right means that a character will be next to accept battle commands. Press the X or Y button to pass that character's battle opportunity to the next character. <gasps> oh, that's awesome that you can do that. Run from some battle by pressing the L and R button. In the back row, damage and attack powers are halved. Change rows using the main menu. Press the left uh, on the control pad, then press the A button. Okay. There's at least one undead boss. I won't say who that you can instantly kill with a single phoenix down. <laughs> damage is more severe. Uh, damage is more severe when caught in a pincer attack. Use scare when running. Cool. There's another chest over here. Ooh, sweet. There's a sleeping bag. Oops. Let's go in here then. Advanced battle tactics. 
Need status info? Sure. Clear. Enemy can strike you, but you're an easy target for spells. We'll revert to normal if a spell hits you. Kappa. Kappa? Lose uh, use of spells and commands. Zombie. HP drops to zero and you attack party members. Use holy water to reverse. For confused, confused and sleep, you'll revert to normal when struck by a weapon. When multiple images of your character flash on the screen, uh, there's uh, unlike 10 sleeping bags only heal a single person. Shit, really? When multiple images of your character flash on the screen, weapons won't touch you. Freeway uh, attack indicates a fire, ice, and lightning attack. Reflect spells will fade over time and can't block certain magic attacks. Runic turns many magic attacks into MP. Can be used repeatedly. Morph increases attack and magic power. Dura uh, duration increases with battle fought. Dance and rage, when selected, will continue until the battle is over. Re-raise, automatically brought back from the dead even if the status is affected. Regen... You will gradually come back. He's a curative spell or item on an undead creature for maximum damage. Well, that was it. Each Bushido attack has its own unique name. You'll gain more Bushido skills over time. Near death, status uh, can result in special hidden skills. See what happens if you select command attack. About reflect. Reflect doesn't block spells that have been reflected of off others. Enemy protected by Reflect by bouncing an attack off of a Reflect protected individual in your party. And I received a potion. Great. And it's probably something in that pot. Or not. Move. Uh, Tents will heal a full party, however. Bushido should be awesome. Sadly, it sucks unless you teach it uh, its use of the quick spell. Kappa, like the folklore demon in Japanese culture, they live and are usually near rivers and will kidnap children and eat them. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. Uh, who might you be? <laughs> He's hiding. This is the pits. We'd better hightail it southward to Figaro. Probably not necessary, but you know me. You know me, boy. It's fine, you can run anyway, sir. So. Oh, well, could have just saved here, I guess. Bushido requires charging up to use higher level Bushido skills. During this time, your party will be attacked because time is passing. The reason Quick ma uh, makes Bushido good is because Quick freezes time except for the caster. So freeze time, suddenly charging up a Bushido attack doesn't leave you a uh, sit and duck. Once you are free to move around in Figaro Castle, there are two shops and a chest in one of them. Well shit, I haven't even made it there yet. I haven't even made it there yet. Oh, it's a leaf bunny. Oh, it's fucking dead now. I like that the enemies kind of explode. That's really satisfying. They don't just, like, vanish. They just absolutely explode. Also, there's a fucking world map. My lord, there's a world map. Oh my god. I, I can't believe it. There's a world map. Nice. Also, buy the one of each crossbow. Bioblast, you don't really need the crossbow. Edgar starts with a free one. The Bioblast, right, I forgot about that. Bioblast, though, yes, get that. He'll wreck poison vulnerable enemies. Edgar, who, got, uh, who you get shortly, is an engineer. He can use tools, items that can only be used by him, but aren't consumed on use. In other words, you can keep using them. The auto crossbow doesn't de uh, does decent damage 
to all enemies. The Vile Blaster does poison damage to all enemies. Okay, well, I'll see when I get there. Oops. Oh, the Leaf Bunny. That name is so cute. But I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Oh, that is a bunny! That is a bunny on a fucking cabbage, apparently. Is this it? Yeah, I made it to Figaro Castle. Wait! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Oh, I will. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Just wanted to see if you could go talk to those two dudes on, uh, on the side. Oh, it's you. Proceed. This is Figaro, the desert castle. Well, thanks for telling me that the second time I came in. We're fighting several battles in each area you go to because it will have an influence later. I mean, I did, didn't I? Auto crossbow is a wonderful early tool. It's kind of funny though. Uh... Oh shit! They're going back and forth. It's kind of funny though that by endgame Edgar won't even be touching his tools. <laughs> Because Dragon Shoes plus Dragon Horn plus Holy Lance is Dragoon from Hell. Go see the king. Okay, okay, okay. What up, Kang? You mean this young woman is. Oh, yes. She is hot. Who do you think you are? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire and master designer of machinery. Edgar! Ooh, noise blaster and bio blaster. Sweet! I can't wait to get all those things. I'm Edgar, King of Figaro. Heh, <laughs> surprised someone like me knows a king? Well, talk to you two later. Alright, I guess. So you're an Imperial soldier, right? No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. Wow. What is it with you anyway? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose I'm I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Ah, oh, she's so ah, oh, she's so I'm not normal. I'm not like every other girl. Mm. Okay. Feel free to wander about. Feel free to wander about. Is this his fuck chamber? Oh, I can't go in, so. It's fun using noise blaster on enemies and then uh, the wyverns in that leap river casting a five. Damn, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I heard the Empire has revived the power of magic. Gessar uh, has harnessed the power of magic. Who can stop him now? Ooh, nice. Phoenix down. Oops. Those are doors down south. Why does this castle have fucking fans in the towers? One has an item shop, the other has a tool shop. So which one? Okie dokie, Albridge. 
Okie dokie. I will probably not be streaming for that long anyway now. Uh, yeah, probably like a couple more minutes. I'll just get all the equipment. Edgar is good with machines, machinist. Fuck, I forgot what you guys said about getting what weapons to get. Uh, la, 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 la. Crossbow Bioblaster. Bioblaster, get the Bioblaster. Okie dokie. Deals poison damage and sap status to all enemies. Wait, I need the noise one too? It's 500. I'll wait. Ooh, potion. Ooh, antidote. Let's go check out the other shop quickly. Ooh, gold needle. Nice. Oh, here we go. Okie dokie, I think that's good. I think that should be good, right? It doesn't look like it, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech devices in existence. Oops, they're all talking secret. Okay, well, fuck you then. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Great. Need a rest? Sure. Why not? You'll make plenty of gil as you fight random battles, so might as well get the noise now. Okay, I'll get the noise. Though Edgar showers his attention on women, most are too smart to pay attention to him. Wow. He's always interrupting the high priestess during important lectures to hit on her. Surely he talked to you. Yep. He is a uh, weird person. He can go down. What the fuck is this place? This is Figaro, the desert castle. Oops, I left. Wait. Oh, it's you, proceed. Okie dokie, there we go. Got it. Sometimes jumping into beds at certain location allows a free rest, like a cottage, the mountains, or someone's bed in a town nearby. Sweet. Whoa, a library. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. What a waste of time. Wow. Long ago, a false called magic existed. People who use magic were called mage warriors. Or just mages, you know. It saddens me Edgar's role in World of uh, in World of Final Fantasy was so minuscule. His brother didn't even appear in World of Final Fantasy. This is Figaro, the Desert Castle. Whoa. Weapons and items manufactured here are sent to South Figaro. Okay. Okie dokie. This is a pretty big place. Since you collect monsters and use them in battles, normal thing the summons in Mortal Final Fantasy are instead of various FF heroes. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. 
What's this? Whoa. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. I was thinking of his family. Oh, God. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all his all this talk uh, of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. What do you mean? Brother. Oh, this music is nice. I like this music. You're crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin. Sure. Ah, yes. His name is Sabin. Or Sabin. I'll say Sabin. Oh, he looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Well, I'm guessing he's Kafka. His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Ew! That is not okay! The Empire has smashed the three cities on the southern continent. Oops. Just a matter of time till they come up here. Since you got him, blah, 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 and there's. Here's what was. Here's that brother I mentioned who didn't even appear in uh, World of Final Fantasy. Seven is a physical fighter, but with a very, very weird quirk. His normal attacks rely on his attack stat, like you'd expect. His blitz technique, on the other hand, do magical damage and thus rely on his magic power for damage. That's weird. Okay, well, I think I'm ready in this town. I think I got everything I need. Might as well, uh, nope. Might as well go and spend the rest, uh, rest of my money on potions and stuff. Do you play with a controller? Yes. This is the controller that I use. It's just a normal PlayStation 4 controller. Hooked up with a uh, cable. Mini USB. <clears throat> you can do it wireless, but uh, you'd need an adapter, a Bluetooth adapter, which I don't have. But it works perfectly with this, so... Save. There you go. Nice. Well, that was fun. Cool. Well, I'm glad I got to start the game today. And I'm really glad that we beat Final Fantasy V. That was fun. It was a good victory. Um, I'll continue this tomorrow. And uh, so far, so good. It looks great. And... Um, I think the story is going to be very interesting as well. Good. Seven's, Sabin's moves require specific button presses. Think Street Fighter 2. Really? That's odd. I'm, uh, I'm intrigued. I want to try that. But thanks, everyone, for stopping by. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Thank you for the help with everything. Have a good night, okay, guys?